Let me know if uh, sound or something is not working. I'm gonna oh, deaf in here so I can listen to it. I can hear you. And I can hear us. Sweet. Yeah, sounds like that was successful. Bravo. Let's go. Bravo us. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Jim, yes. Oh, what is this ad selling? <laughs> Where is Bird of the Loom? <laughs> oh, baby, we got an underwear ad. Let's go. Let's go. You love to see nice. it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so are we going to go into the recording, or are we looking for someone to, to uh, fill in? We have one more game to play if Mikey is available for power. No, Mikey but... said Mikey said outside of, like, he has other stuff that came up outside of internet dying. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Mikey okay. is now gone. So Mikey's missing. All right, well, in that case, let's drag Nixio up here. Hello, Nixio. Uh, Nixio is on mute in Discord. Oh, they're there. Yeah. Hey. Um, hey. So we're going to play a private battle match now. Uh, this sure. will be open to anybody who is in the stream right now. Um, we just need to make sure that Nixio is in, and then after that, whoever we can fill the room with. Doesn't really make a difference. All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, so um, do I need to add you or something, or what? Um, yes, so let me DM you the friend code that you can join off. Sure thing. There it is. Uh, and so, Simon, you. you're going to need to do a... Uh, it would probably be best to do a local recording of this. Um, I guess I could go... Actually, it might be easier to manipulate just using the uh, Twitch mod. So I think I'll do it that way. Okay. Um, I'll just uh, open up the stream on my end, and then I'll screen share it to Discord. Um, and from there, you'll be tasked with getting it to show up on OBS somehow. Okay. I think I could do that. I'll just capture the uh, pop-up. Are you Cicada? Nixio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It is accepting. It is taking its sweet time accepting. Yeah, it does. There we go. And everyone can feel free to join. Private battles up. Is there a password? Nope. 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 Is there any particular map mode you would like to play for this Nixio? Um, uh, no. I'm. I'm not playing this later. Alrighty. <clears throat> um. Then let's just do splat zones on. What's a good zones map? Do zones ink plot. <laughs> let's go. And what are your uh, preferred weapons? Mine? Yeah, yours. I think you said you were a oh, zap player, um, didn't you? Actually. Actually. Actually, I also um, main the blue pagoons and okay. the, sometimes the brilla as well. So midline in general. Okay. Nice. I just had a connection error. Let me test. Let me test my connection real quick. Yeah, it was roboting a little bit there. So, if it would help for you to leave the Discord call, that would honestly probably be better, so that like I can commentate over it while the game is going on. Um, but uh, if that's not what's causing the issue, then definitely figure it out. Jamie says, right. I think I hear double game audio. Hmm. 
Listen again. Right. Doing that. Uh, I don't know. It sounds good to me. I think it's a, maybe a little bit of reverb or something, but it's not. Terrible. Oh, hearing double game audio. Hold on. Yeah, it's not terrible. There's like a. It's almost like a slight. I, I don't it's even know echo. if I can hear it or not. It sounds more like reverb or something to me. But yeah, I wouldn't. It doesn't. It doesn't really seem like a double game audio. It's, it's almost like a. It's almost hollow. Zelda, your internet connection good? <laughs> what was going on there? Uh, do you still hear the double game audio? We good. It is fixed. Yeah. We have fixed it. <laughs> Congrats. Okay, oh, you know I what it was? My there. mic was using... I'm using a different mic on here. Hold on. Okay, looks like all we need is Cicada, and then we're uh, good to go. Should, there we go. Should I call you Nixio? Should I call you Cicada? Which do you prefer? Um, I'll, either or, I'm fine with it. All right. I'll do whatever right. I'm currently looking at. Uh, so, Cicada, all you got to do is uh, join that. I think I've accepted your friend request at this point, so... Should be able to jump in, and then hey, we'll get hey, going. I just have to try going back in again. Do you mind setting up your uh, screen share now, Jeff, so I can uh, start working share? on that? Oh, no, oh yeah, you. sure. Uh, that makes sense. Jim. All right. Uh, I'll start working on that while I'm spectating. Okay, are we not so... going to record this first game then, or are you just going to do it from the bot? I'm going to do it from the Twitch VOD. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to hide my webcam then, so that won't interfere with the recording. Okay. <laughs> uh, Should I spectate as well then, so that we can... Uh, no, we need... Uh, I, I will spectate. Oh, wait. Hold yeah. on. Because you we need, need to spectate, the, that's true. Yeah, need the Twitch body, you need Simon to spectate. So, that changes, shoot, that changes yeah. everything I've been doing. So I'll just spectate, uh, and then I can watch them, and then I guess... You, I could stream... And then stream, you just play back the blood. I could stream my... Oh, we would need one more person to join the lobby, right? So that you can mm. watch mine and commentate no, live? No, you're... I'm going to look at it after the fact. Gotcha. Off of the, okay. off of the VOD. Um. Yeah, I got turned around here mentally. I think that looks good. Uh, and we don't have an excessive number of backliners on either team. Okay, I think we're going to be solid with that. You have all the power. <laughs> Someone's gonna need to tell me how to control my spectating powers. Uh, so it's gonna be, what you wanna do is just get, uh, I think it's like L Z L plus okay. the button combination for Cicada. Gotcha, I'm sure it'll figure so it out. So just get to his view and stay there the entire match. Um, I, I guess it might help a little bit to uh, check gear at the beginning of the game. Just tap the X button for like three seconds and then zoom in on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Triple armor. Heck yeah. I mean, it's worked, but don't don't worry, I'm fixing that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, an X washer, nice. A debate in between that and leader, and then like I haven't really played leader since I was practicing my stuff yesterday, so <laughs> this might be the better option. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Have fun.
Um, ZL combined with the button combination for that person. So, like, you, you, you should see, like, or A, B, X, Y. I, well, I, okay, never mind. I, I, my brain. I thought the camera was just... I'm getting it. Uh, maybe not. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, let's uh, try one more here, and I want to change the teams up a little bit. Destroyed. That's absolutely. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. do this and this. Uh, actually, no. Wait, Zelda's playing backline. They should be on our side. I can, I can change if need be. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it on what we were doing. Um, these. And Zelda says that they don't main backline. Do <laughs> like that, see if that helps. Jamie in the chat going, Psst, there's I. <laughs> Very I secretive like I, and subtle. Why do I feel like I know what this psst is? Now he's going to actually use the whisper function instead of pretending to whisper. <laughs> or not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Parasite's like, I can't tell what he means.
Can I just say that that was amazing special coordination off of the enemy team right there? At least I felt it. I didn't die, but I felt it. <laughs> okay, that should be a much better game to go over. Oof. That was a, a lot more back and forth than the first one. Oh. oh. The silence. The pure there focus. Were, yeah, there, were, there were two bombs, missiles, and a raid. I'm like, ah! Right at the end. Uh. <laughs> Alrighty, I am going to pull up the this, this stream VOD for that. I will uh, clear the, the lobby now. You guys are free to uh, do your own thing, because I'm going to be working on uh, getting this set up. But, uh, all right. Uh, all right. Here we go. Okay, uh, Simon, it should be there in commentary. Yep. You seeing it? Almost. Let me get it in the pop out real quick. And then. I'm not hearing Simon at all. I'm not either. It is uh, there. Can you hear me now? Oh, oh, there you are. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, weird. I don't know, my mic keeps switching. Going against meme teams is actually surprisingly good practice because it forces you to think about the game differently. It forces you to think like, okay, what are the actual weaknesses of this weapon and how do I abuse the fact that they have four times those weaknesses? Because they will also have four times those strengths. Like, you got four carbon rollers, like, just because it's like, oh, it's a meme team, it's fine. You can't just jump over corners, you know? <laughs> you still gotta paint to undo the advantage that they have from being silly. Hmm, it's still not playing nice. Hmm. OBS does not like whatever aspect ratio this is in. <laughs> yeah, it's it's literally I mean... just full screened on my uh monitor but yeah in the preview I mean, it says it should be like it should fit the boundaries but it is not it still looks okay like you can still see it on this if screen. you need to chop part of it off to make it fit or have black bars it's not the end of the world there's only a yeah. black bar on the right so i'm sorry for for those of you <laughs> with uh <laughs> it still works with problems with that specific thing but it'll have to do <laughs> Yes, Banky, that's exactly what that was. Uh, we were playing so that we would have a VOD to review. Go eat, Jamie. Okay. Gosh, dang it. So that should work now. Okay. So uh, is it is sound going to come through? I'm not sure if that's... Actually, it probably doesn't matter. Uh, I don't These think are... it'll matter. I, I figured we would just use your voice. Yeah. As long as the voices come through, that's all that matters. Okay. So did it just uh, start and stop for a second there? Yep. Was just Should be all good. All right. Cool. Cool. You you uh, ready to go, Cicada? Cicada. Huh? What are you saying? Yes. You ready to go? You listening? Yeah, I I am. I hear Squid Game in the background. Hear... Did you start another game? Yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of a game, but it's not important. What is it? Okay, so yeah, it sounds like you're squid partying. Well, we're, we're starting the VOD review. So, um, if you want to watch uh, on Discord, the video that we're screen sharing 
is the VOD with uh, that uh, I'll be walking through. It'll be better to watch that probably than to watch the stream unless you uh, don't have questions. Because the stream, you'll be able to see it in real time and everything. But uh, if you're watching the stream and listening to me on Discord, then it'll be desynced, the audio and the video. So you'll want to watch either on Discord or you'll want to mute Discord and watch the, str the Twitch stream. Um... I don't know how the screen share works. Do I hit share so my go screen? Into, like go into the uh, Discord, um, and by my name, it should say live. If you click on me, left click on oh, me, yeah. uh, oh, then you should stream. be able to watch stream, yes. Yeah, okay. All right. All set? All right. Yep. Okay, cool. We'll get this started. So... Okay, cool. We've got uh, on one team, uh, this, so this is the enemy team for you. Uh, we've got Enzap and Junior, a couple painting weapons. We've got Carbon Deco, definitely a Slayer. And we've got the uh, Charger. You'll be holding it down on the back line. And then on your team, you're working with a Hydra. You've got the Zap here, which is gonna be you know the primary you paint support on a coordinated team. We've got uh, me and you as the slayers, basically. So game starts off. Mm -hmm. Let's take a quick look at the builds here just to see if there's anything funky going on. Um, doing this check right here that I'm about to do at the beginning of a match is something you should try and get in the habit of doing if you're getting up towards higher level where you can do it quickly. Um, so here, here you'll notice, okay, so the carbon yeah, is I running. Like perfect, perfect. So carbon's running some main power up, that's good. Um, those are some pretty standard builds there. There's not anything really here that's uh, standing out to me that you really have to worry too much about. Um, this is basically exactly what you would expect from the Zap and the Junior. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure that the Carbons will generally run a uh, special charge. Uh, I guess that they're going for extra bomb rushes to paint the zone with, which isn't a bad thought in zones. I just, I just um, and then on, on the other side. I don't know what chargers build these days. I'm surprised to see main power up, but that might be a thing. I'm not sure. Very diverse. Okay. <laughs> so we all roll well, out I mean, on the right side. It's good that we're rolling out together I mean, here. We, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, it was, it was nothing. Continue. Okay. So we're going out on the right side here. You see me there out of the corner of your eye going left, so... Uh, you should probably at least kind of keep an eye on left in case I end up needing help here. Um, as the two weapons that are going to be the furthest forward, the two frontline weapons, we probably want to be working together there. Um, also, something that you probably have seen here is there is some paint going down here, but the fact that I'm moving left might mean that there are more people on the left than there are on the right. Uh, checking map would help a lot. I can't tell when you check map because this is spectator view. So... Um, the, something I'm doing right here is, you know, mm -hmm. quickly flipping map open and shut to see which side are they on, which side should I be putting pressure on. So it looks like you're moving forward. Oh, so you call this way, so you're trying to advance here. I like that you're taking advantage of the fact that they're looking at me to try and get into the fight there. Uh, I'm going to back up for just a second. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm a little bit worried about your ink tank because you've rolled and shot a little bit and you've also thrown a bomb, so... That's something that, uh, okay, you do actually sit in place for a little bit there. Um, as soon as you see that the charger fires, you start trying to move in on it, but you see that they've got help, so you're going to back up. And they've got, this is one, this is a Han Solo moment right here. This is, you walk in and you see a whole bunch of stormtroopers standing in front of you that you did not know were around that <laughs> corner. Uh, and you got to get the heck out of there. Um, so rolling away. I'm worried about the rolls there, honestly. That might be a situation where I try and swim first, and then if I notice that the swimming isn't working, I might try to roll after that. Because if you roll twice and you're still in their range, you're dead. Um, you're just going to get frozen in place for a second. Mm -hmm. So um, using your dodge rolls is really good for getting out of this situation, but you need to make sure that you're safe by the time the second roll happens. Uh, and I'm not sure if... Against the team that saw the position you were in and were able to, you know, apply full pressure and rush you, you might have gone down in that situation there. Um, I think even once you saw uh, 
that there was the NZAP player here. So you go in, you're trying to get a pick on the charger. You see it's not going to happen. Once you see that the NZAP is there, it's at best a 2v2, because you know I'm here and your teammates are all behind you otherwise. They're not going to be able to help with this fight if you push it. So the best that you're getting here is a 2v2. They've got some cover because they've got this wall here, so their shots are easier to hit than yours are. So I probably wouldn't have pushed it here. I probably would have just kind of tried to zone them out and let the the team behind you paint the zone and then see where it develops from there. So that might be something you could have done. Uh, another thing to note is that they did have armor coming soon, if not there already. Uh, okay, yeah, the junior already has armor right now. Um... So at this point, you know, they're going to get that special. They're going to have the advantage. So, you know, if you have full awareness, you probably don't get into that position in the first place and you're a little bit safer. But it looks like you get out okay. Unfortunately, the missiles are going to drag across the zone. You do do a little bit to paint those over. But right now it's looking like they might cap the zone, is my thinking, because I don't know where I ended up here. Um, looks like I back off to the left here. So you know I'm off on the left. You, you've got one teammate with you, maybe, but... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm getting backed up pretty hard on the left over there. Oh, you get a pick, though. So that might let us paint the zone here. I'm seeing some pressure on the left that you actually saw, but I'm able to get the pick, so... You're just going to rush in, it looks like. It's good that you're just waiting here. You're not trying yeah, to just rush trying... out into open space against the charger. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Actually, I was trying to, like... um occupy them make them just get distracted a little bit because since we already have the zone i was gonna try to like snowball it a little bit okay um it's gonna be really hard for you from oh, this particular rabbit. position to go after the charger uh because at this point it's just nothing but open space between you and them what might have worked a little bit better for getting to them would have been to go over the middle over the grates um, and then you have height advantage and uh, you can maybe drop down on them surprisingly or something. But uh, if you're just aiming to stall, I mean, this isn't a bad way to do it. Okay, going in here, the baller is a saving grace there. And uh, the fact that you had pressure on the other side to help you out with that works. But um, before the baller goes out, I'm looking at that thinking that's not safe. They, they should get zeroed out if uh, somebody's watching too closely. But we had pressure from the other side. The baller ends up working out swimmingly. So it's all good. At this point, I'm not sure why you're turning your back and running the other way. Uh, we've just got two picks and one of them jumped out. So that means there's only one person left maximum to defend. And you can be taking more advanced positions into the enemy base. Um, there's no reason to come back here because we don't need to paint the zone. Uh, I guess maybe if you're trying to paint for special, but that shouldn't re really be your first priority. If you'd been up there where you can see I, I go down here, if you'd been up in this position, that would have been a 2v1 instead of a 1v1, and uh, we might have been able to do something together there. Oop. I'm sorry. It happens to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't worry about those. That, that just comes with map knowledge. It comes with uh, making mistakes and realizing, whoops, I made a whoopsie. Uh, here is a, not a good time to be going into the zone. Uh, if you look up at the upper left, two players have gone down. Uh, one, you, oh, right. I think the Hydra was down already before this all started. Uh, yeah, so the Hydra and the Zap are the only two that are up right now. The Hydra goes down already. So looking at this right now, I'm thinking, okay, they've got a special up. They've got a missiles on the way. I've only got two teammates here to help me, and they're not with me. This is not a time to be pushing the zone. Uh, especially since your zap then goes down immediately afterward. So you're pushing into a 2v4 right now, and they have a special while we two don't. Um, you do actually get a pick there, which is better than I expected was going to happen. But um, even so, you know, you got a pick out of a 2v1, and you died on the zone. So that's just going to stagger our team worse. Uh, and they can afford to lose that member, because that member can super jump to like mid whereas we don't have a forward position to super jump from so even though you got a trade which was better than i thought we were going to get that's still a net loss for our team to have you go down there so let's see how this develops from here i see so they've got pretty solid zone control so they got um looks like i'm going in on the left here which is uh up I wouldn't say is wise of me, because I don't have a lot of support. We're all going in on the right. 
But we're able to make it work, it looks like. You get a pick. I think I got like a double out of this. And you get another one. That was nice. Nice job. Okay, so from here... Okay, that's not a bad position to take. Now uh, you'll have baller pretty soon. Okay, so... The reason to go up there would be to like get the drop on someone. There is literally no reason if if mm -hmm. you you know trust Devi's positioning that you should ever be behind her. If she thinks that it's safe to be pushed up to there, then you should be pushed up in front of her. Uh, keep people in her effective range rather than um, making her exercise her effective oh, range. Okay. You know. Um, if you can keep people pushed out away from her so that they can't get in range of her, she's going to do even more damage. Um, so in this position, you know, you're you're not going to do anything and she's going to be doing something. If you're in front of her, you're both doing things and you're both doing things together and that's a really good place to be. Um, so, so what I would have done knowing um, that Devi is up there is maybe I could have sharked under this wall instead. Mm -hmm. because if someone drops over the edge, yeah. you're going to be and on top of them, and out. Debbie's going to yeah. be watching them, and so that's a really good place to be. Uh, ideally, what you want to do, if you have the time, mm -hmm. is get up onto this ledge here and then shark under it, uh, so that that way you're catching them even earlier, mm -hmm. and also you're not at a height disadvantage against them. Oh, yeah, actually, I think I did go over there. It's Looks like you're going up there now, which is good. You got a pick from that. And I don't think I you saw tried, that player like, there. <laughs> to, like... um, it's good that you detonated no, it where you it, did. Wait, it it wasn't going to get this person. Bit. Did you see them? Yeah. So it looks like you're shooting wait, at someone over there. Like you see someone here. Oh, wait, okay. So you saw me. that little bit right there. Oh. So maybe you did detonate it. Are you trying to explode this to get this person? Or are you trying to get the person I behind know. you? I, th I think I was maybe trying to like push in and maybe distract a little bit because that's what, what I was trying to kind of go for. Okay, I'm just thinking of like when you're detonating okay, just... the baller because that's a really good purpose for the baller. I'm, I'm thinking though like... Because if you're trying to splat this person, what I would say is you're... You need to get way closer to them to have a chance of splatting them with the explosion. But you do end up getting someone there, so it's lucky that... Uh, I, I don't know whether you noticed them or not, is the thing. So, uh, if you were trying to explode it on them, that's like 200 IQ. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. This was, this was when I was, like, trying to, like, like um, occupy them for a little bit. Yep. That, that, and that's a really good idea, you know, with yep. with the zone capped and with your team pushed up this far with a Hydra installed, like, you don't need to win the game, you just need to stall, and that'll help you win. Um, you don't need to, like, go in and, and splat everybody, like you just need to keep them stuck in place for a while. Um, so th that's good thinking right there. So you've got them yeah. forced over to this side, I and mean, it looks like you're going to... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, I did make one mistake, and it was that I didn't um, really mind too much about the um, splat bomb, which ended up splatting me um, a little bit later. And I probably should have understood that it was the um, junior. And... Well, we'll see when we get there. I'll, I'll yeah. see what I have to say at that point. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is looking really good. They're all missiled, so if you were going to rush them, this would probably be the time to rush them since they're mm -hmm. all spotted for you and they're all going to be working to dodge things. But uh, it's good that you respect the bomb there. Um, going in there uh, against an X rank carbon deco, you're probably dead at that point already. Um, with the carbon, you really, really need to be disciplined okay. about staying outside of their range. Uh, the fact that he misses here might... Oh, okay, so the bomb gets mm -hmm. you from there. So let, let's see what's going on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Where time you this, paused it, it was like... Where did this bomb come this in? Oh, wow, okay, so that was a really well-placed like, bomb. Because I don't even see it until afterwards. You might have heard it, mm -hmm. and so that would have been a cue to maybe drop down to the left instead. But uh, I think you start rolling maybe a little mm -hmm. bit early. Um, I'm trying to think about, like, how could you have survived this? Uh, at this point, with the mm -hmm. carbon pushing you and knowing that the junior is coming, you can see on the upper right... 
I would probably just be backing away, especially yeah, since we're one of... down. If you get this um, pick, well, th th this is fine, uh, but the fact that they were able to I mean, cover I'm really your... trying to, I'm really trying to... Just trying to what? I was just trying to distract them a little bit. At this range, you're not in, at the point of distracting them anymore. If you're at range where they can hit you, you're in a fight. Um, so, yeah, maybe, like, if you're getting in, engaged in the fight, you can go for it and try and win it. Um, maybe if you're rolling backwards fast enough or you're retreating well enough, um, you can kind of kite them and waste their time that way. But at, at the point that you've approached at that range, you're not really stalling them anymore. If you're trying to stall, what you would really want to do is um, retreat back into their court, like drop down over the left ledge here. And at that point, now they have to worry about dropping down on you, and that's going to waste more of their time than you taking this engagement and potentially losing. Um, so Jamie had a really good play there, kind of flanking around you and using that bomb placement, knowing that you were going to run away from the carbon. So that's a really good play on his part. Um, so what I would say there is, like, yeah. you either need to, like, push further in and just commit hard to the fight, or you need to retreat back into their court. And that's how you get out of that position. So they pop armor. They're pushing numbers up to try and get onto the zone. We already went one down earlier. That was me. Oh, yeah, and then, uh, I... then you just went down and staggered a little bit. So they do have a pretty good chance of capping here. Yeah, they do. And uh, our zap goes down on the left-hand side. Looks like I'm pushing forward. Seeing that I'm pushing forward there, I would be pu just running straight over mid and trying to help out because you can see I'm already a little bit ahead of you and you probably don't want me to be going into that fight alone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was actually trying to get up there, but um, I was a little bit too late on that. Yeah, and it's it, this is the kind of support that like yeah. I would have been yeah, looking for there. Yeah, it was a little for bit there. too late for me. Um, you do, you get, do get a trade here, so that's not I mean, bad. It's, it's just they were able to get in position in time. Yeah. And I'm forced back at this point because they were in yeah, position. I was, um, so the, what I did was that it was way too late for me to like try to try and escape. So I tried, so I just kept on shooting at the carbon. That way I could at least get a pick instead of like nothing. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, that like the trade there is not bad. Um, trading while you're on the zone is maybe not great. So like right here, the carbon's focusing on me. There is someone over on this side, but honestly, you probably could just retreat to the left of zone here. Um, and that might be a way that you can first reunite with me and second get behind cover so that you're safe. Because um, if you don't sit still here, it might be harder for the charger to draw a bead on you and get this shot. Uh, they're actually down low here. So if you had retreated to the left, you might have actually gotten out of their line of sight. They might not have been able to hit that shot you weren't standing still so that that's my thinking there like just mm -hmm. you see that it's a bad position try to retreat behind cover and get back to your teammates but uh the trade isn't too bad I, I wouldn't fault you too too much for that this flank so the problem is that the, the, we don't have control of the zone at the moment uh so with you retreating yeah. we're only gonna have three people painting it and we might lose it to this uh, if I were going to do this flank, I would want to be going straight through court instead of trying to go up this ramp. Because <laughs> yeah. we know that there are at least like two of them over here already. And these are the ones oh, wait, who actually I have an impact on the going. zone. Yeah. Oh, wait, I think I know where I'm going. Like, but I kind of failed at it. I mean, I put All that right, looks... bomb so I can protect myself. <laughs> Say, well, well, if I remember correctly, at this point, I'm popping off and getting like a triple or something. Yeah. That's what happens there. So the only reason that um, this doesn't end up costing us is that I win a, like, 3v1 right here. Um, mm -hmm. But basically what just happened was you put the team into a 4v3 and did not... You, you weren't painting, you weren't applying pressure to the enemy. Um, this flank doesn't actually accomplish that much for us. If you're going to flank, it needs to be on the group of enemies that are going to be, you know, important for the objective. And it needs to not take more than about 10 seconds. Um, if it does take about 10 seconds, then that's the amount of time it takes someone to respawn. And that's an amount of time that it's never worthwhile to waste. Um, so 
it ends up working out, but um, the flank put you out of play for too long, so I d would definitely not recommend going that deep into the enemy base. Uh, so this is not bad uh, until you roll off the ledge, which it, I, I do that all the time. What what happens there is uh, you're trying to roll, and you're thinking that this like little bar right here is going to protect you. This Because uh, normally you walk into this and it stops you, or you roll into this and it stops you. What you didn't recognize was that you actually landed on the bar. So if you roll backwards, it's not going to stop you. You're just going to go straight off. Yeah, um, I clipped a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, that's all that happened there. I, once you're in that position, this isn't a bad fight to be taking. You're stalling a painting weapon for a pretty good long time. And being the duelies, you have longer range than them. And you actually stand a pretty good chance of winning that engagement and taking their painting weapon and their armor out of the game. So... That's not bad. Um, like I like the fact that you're engaging after, you know, the, the, once you've done that flank, which I don't agree with, and you're in that position, that was the kind of fight that you wanted to take. Uh, and it was just kind of some... That, that one execution error with rolling off the ledge that put you in trouble. Uh, if you do get the opportunity against that weapon, it's better to roll backwards because that's more likely to like yeah. roll away so from it because that way you can kite them exactly you have longer range than them so you abuse that fact in that position i don't know whether you could have really made that happen so um i mean I all things considered I not a um, bad fight mm -hmm. no. go ahead you were saying something go ahead oh i already finished um Continue. Okay. Video. So we've got the uh, ray coming out. You dodge that. That's pretty good. It doesn't really have too much of an impact. I'm already pretty far forward. Uh, I do end up getting a pick. Andre is pretty far forward too. So when the ray goes off, like I understand, like backing up for a second, but uh, you can still dodge the ray and move forward. Like in this in this position, instead of coming up here with Devi. Once I saw I wasn't in danger, I would probably just rush forward and try to get with Andre as fast as possible. The game's not going to last super yeah, long. But uh -huh. Yeah, What's but up? I didn't know how much longer it would last. I just didn't know how much longer it would last, honestly. I What I'm saying is I think no, under any circumstances, just... like going up there with the Hydra, you're not doing anything up there that she can't do by herself. So instead, I would be pushing into mid because you take a lot longer to get into mid when you go up there. Um, so I, I would be trying to push forward and get with my teammates a little bit faster than that, but as it stands, the game is probably already over. Um, I go down there, but that literally doesn't matter at all, and uh, we win the game. So big takeaways, I would say. Um, first of all, big flanks. Uh, I, I'd say that's that's probably the biggest error of the match, just big flanks that take super long and put your teammates mm -hmm. in a fight for a protracted amount of time generally not worth it if you're going to flank it needs to be that you're getting behind your opponents at the same time that your teammates are hitting them from the front um, that's how flanks work if you you have two people pincering them from opposite sides that's when it's really scary but uh, if you take that long to get that deep into their base Number one, someone who's spawning is probably going to pick you off because they're probably going to see that at a at high level play. Uh, but secondly, um, you're leaving your team in a, a situation that uh, is harder for them to win. So make sure that uh, if you're going to do a flank, that it's going to be a shallower flank. You're not going to go as far into their base and you're going to come up directly behind them where the main group of enemies is. Uh, secondly, try to stay with your, your Slayer teammates, especially, and uh, maybe your supports, too, if they're in there. Mm -hmm. um, try yeah. to, like, do do teamwork with them. Honestly, I didn't really... Like... You didn't what? Yeah, I, don't, I honestly didn't really listen to what you were doing, to be honest. Um, yeah, and... Uh, that should have done. And uh, I was like... Granted, one of my issues as a player is that I have a tendency to push too early or too far in front of my teammates um, and get away from my support in fights. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's something that I'm still working on, and that might be something that factors into you not being with me in some of these cases. 
Um, but that's something that you should actively be seeking out yeah. because any fight that you're going to take where you have a teammate mm -hmm. with you is a better fight to take than one where you're going in alone. Um, so always have that in mind. Uh, okay. If you have a backliner like a Hydra or something, and they're up in a certain position, be mm -hmm. in front of them. Um, let them support you by... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, unless the you know if you're watching a charger just like feed in constantly like they're holding forward and dying on zone before they've capped it you know that sort of thing like if, if the charger's not playing well then sure you know it yeah, might like, be reasonable like not to like push in with them but if if they're doing the right like things if they're, if they're being that, in the right positions like realize not only do they feel safe being in that position but you're going to be safer pushing up in front of them because they're there um, so d don't be yeah, back yeah, there yeah. with your backliners. Like, actually push up in front of them and let let them help you. Uh, those are the, right. the biggest things and... I would say. Um, sorry, you had a question? Yeah, sorry. Um, and if they're, like, not in the best position, I should, like, guard them, right? Um, if they're not in the best position, they're probably going to run in and feed or something like that. So, um generally just kind of try to play the game around that happening um because a lot of the time people get baited into like taking bad engagements because their teammates took a bad engagement and they rush in to save them um so that yeah, might it might or might not be worth trying to help them out uh if they've committed to something and like okay. you, you really need that player alive then sure go for it but if, if a player is just feeding really really badly it might be better to just kind of um, work around that or try and get a, a pick from a player who's not paying attention someplace else. Anyway, that's not super important. Devi was positioning well, positioned in front of her, and that's how you'll get maximum benefit out of that. Okay, so uh, I think the one other thing I would say is to think about um, the weapon choice of the dualies. Uh, you, you also play Glugas, I saw, which is, you know, solid weapon. I think, personally, that the aggressive splat dualies right now are kind of outclassed a little bit by um, the end zap and, to a lesser extent, something like a splatter shot. Um, because I think the roles, um, with MPU being in the game and so many MPU weapons uh, getting so much benefit out of you being on their ink for a split second, if you're rolling through enemy ink, which is the big benefit movement-wise of the dualies, that you can get that burst movement despite being on enemy ink, you're putting yourself in a position where a bamboo can one-shot you, a K-Pro can two-shot you. So, like, all of these weapons get so much benefit out of it. A Neo Splash can three-shot you. Um, there are all these meta weapons that uh, can really punish you hard for being on enemy ink. And so right now, weapons that are going to main strafe instead for combat are actually doing a lot better. Um, Baller is solid for zones. Like, I actually really like Baller on s smaller mm -hmm. zones maps where it'll paint a lot of the zone. And uh, it's nice survivability as well. But uh, as far as uh, that particular dualies, you're not seeing a lot of them right now. It's, that's not to say that any weapon in Splatoon is, is terrible and is definitely dragging you down. But there might be another weapon that's doing the same thing you're looking for a little bit better than those dualies are. So that's a thought. Um, I used to play a ton of the K dualies. Um, and since these meta changes have come into play, I have just never had good use for them um, to the point where I'm getting really rusty on the dualies. And it's probably better for me just to play the splatter shots at this point. But uh that, that's kind of my thinking on why I don't play those dualies anymore. Because uh, they were my go-to, at least, Clam Blitz weapon for a very, very long time. <laughs> so, all right. Um, oh. I'm just checking the chat now because this is uh, the first I've had a chance to do that. See if there's anything uh, other people are saying. Dualies are solid. The Tetra dualies are definitely solid. The Tetras are, I think, an exception to the rule. Because the Tetras break the rules in many ways. Uh, they have a much longer range than the other dualies do. They fire while they're rolling. So they have a much faster kill time than the other dualies, even though they have a slower fire rate, because um, they can just fire while they're moving. Um, and they have four rolls, obviously, which uh, is a much bigger yeah. movement advantage. So Tetras will always have a place in the meta, I think. The main weapon is just too good not to. 
Um, they are very paint dependent, and they also have the worst special in the game, unless you're running the bomb rush one, which is weird, and I don't think anybody does that these days. Yeah, um, but, but uh, with the bomb rush, you can act. I... It is the, yeah, the bomb auto bomb rush, rush act... is the problem. Any other bomb rush, I would say, oh yeah, totally, that's the better one for zones. But auto bomb rush, it, all it takes is one person being like, hey chickens, follow me. Come off the zone to our happy chicken <laughs> farm here, and it, it won't actually do anything. So. Attack. But really, um, one cool, neat little thing is that you do four rolls and pop up your special, you do not four rolls, which is... Up, uh, oh nice man, plus. it's, uh, it's roboting okay. a little bit. I'm not hearing you super well. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, um, I'm just saying that, Sorry like, that. you can do four rolls, pop up your bomber special, and do another four rolls, and then, yeah. Yeah, that is a thing it you can do. do. Um, I would definitely say it's it's sort of situational, but um, that is something that you know. I've light Tetris isn't the worst choice for sure. Um, I just prefer to have the bomb because uh, what the auto bomb gets you is it lets you scout where people are at. Um, you're probably not going to get that many kills with it, although you you usually get more than I think anyone ever should. Um, <laughs> auto auto bombs have this way of making people go, oh my god, I can't believe I died to that. Anyway, what well, the best use for them uh, is yeah. to to look at a whole patch of ink in front of you and be like, I don't know if somebody's there. Let's throw a chicken and make sure it's safe to push here. Um, and so I, that's why oh, I think yeah. the um, dark tetras actually... are better. Yeah. Um. Honestly. Okay. So I have this like one little. Um clip of me like throwing down an auto bomb and it felt followed this um person who was hiding so then i just like w rushed in a little bit and i think i killed like one or two people and then got picked off myself yeah that's kind of what it's for that's uh, a good use yeah. of them so besides the getting yeah. picked off of course <laughs> but anyway so yeah tetras um yeah. i think they'll always have a place in the meta that they are very niche right now i don't think that they're a top tier weapon. The main weapon is busted. It's just the kits are really holding it back. Um, if they had anywhere near a good aggressive kit, then they would be busted. I think. Um, anyway, I mean, it... so that's that's Tetra's uh, CDS. That you have some other options. It, it sounds like you have a whole bunch of other weapons that are also being played right now. So I, I don't want to belabor this point about weapons too much. But uh, I just personally have not had a lot of success with the K Kensa Duelies in the most recent patches. And so I was passing on why uh, it might be good to consider other aggressive weapons. Um, maybe try to learn a shooter instead if you're going to try and play kind of the, the role that you were playing in this game. All right. The, the Jetras? Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's get another PB going and uh, let's play for the last half hour here, shall we? I will uh, sure. make another room. That'd no password. Fun. Just get in here. <laughs> get also, in here. I just unlocked okay. League. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Finally, Avery right? has oh, League. Avery. Finally, I'm ready to just get destroyed in this one as well. Great. <laughs> Wait, Steven, do you want to do some a league battle pair for a little bit after this? Okay. Um, uh, well, what's the what's the plan? You what are you looking for? I've got uh, a uh, PB up here right now. So, hop into the private battle, everybody. Yeah. All right. Let's go on the private battle bus. Oh, oh no, Japan is invading. <laughs> I'll be there in very Wait, wait. We demilitarized them after World War II, and so they militarized in Squid Game. <gasps> made a mistake. Sonno koto nai yo. Okay, we got six people in here. I'm not hearing anybody right now. I don't know if it's maybe my connection to Discord, but... Huh? We can I've... hear you. Yeah, All right. Yeah. I'm hearing Debbie. Yeah. All right. You, are you able to hear me? Let's get things started <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, you can be heard. Can you guys 
Good. So we played a bunch of splat zones. Hello. Let's make some tower now. Let's do it. We'll, we'll let random decide our fates. Oh no. Uh, let me just do this. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened? Uh, we we lost a soldier here. <gasps> man down, oh, no. man down. Uh. There we go. Do you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, Simon, uh, saying something? Or... Yeah, I was trying. That's thing that there should be a uh, stop watching option. Uh, I think you also took it off. I did turn it off. That's true. Oh, yeah. So that should probably do it for you as well. Okay. We're just well. KOing it and moving on? Uh, or do we just want like? Let's one try to it. Okay. I mean, if it's if it goes badly, it'll be a quick KO anyway. I yeah, won't be a long match. What's the deal with T Tech in the meta right now, Aerosign? Very mediocre. Um, it's outclassed largely by the Inkjet Nautilus at the moment for an Inkjet weapon. Um, it paints a little better than the uh, Nautilus does, but the Nautilus's range and crazy mobility despite having that range and shot velocity is just kind of busted. So T-Tech isn't bad, but almost nobody is running it because they have the option to play Nautilus instead. I will say the kit's pretty uh, decent, especially with the flat bomb too. Yeah, I mean, the, the T-Tech will never be a bad weapon. Um, it'll always be at least like A tier, I would say, just because of its, its fast kill time, its kit. Shooting it very well, kind of slap on, which is crazy good. Um, but there are definitely Slayer weapons that are classic. There are definitely weapons to counter it that are in the meta. So um, I would say it's it's definitely not the strongest choice. It hasn't been for some time. Oh. Uh, Oh, I tried. You did. You did. Nicely done. <laughs> I guess wrong on which side of the tower you were on, and it's all over from there. It's all over. <laughs> Woo! <Got it>. No! <laughs> I didn't see the ball. <laughs> ah. Hiding. Trying to save Andre. I miss not having mine on this map. That's exactly why. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Well, you know, Jeff, I dodged the ink. The <laughs> I dodged a little bit, you know. Oh, I said dumb. Alright. Thank you for punishing me for that. I gotta say, I really love Carbon Roller. <laughs> carbon Go Bomb. Yep. Carbon Go Bomb. Oh. Uh. Uh. oh no. Oh no. No, I didn't touch that one. Nice. <laughs> I got him. Uh, Jeff can't scream. 
Mike couldn't freeze. Oh. That's right. We'll yep, he's still here. Mike is, is here. Uh, Oh, who's got this rapid? Sorry, Ben, I can't find my capture card, so no forehead. <laughs> no! Oh, that was scary. Oh, scary. Ah. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. Don't worry, I got him. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. When, Not when, so long as the rapid in my way. When Jem moved away from Arizona, the timeline split, and I'm the gem that stayed in Arizona. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> of course, she got very bad at the game. Oh, this is oh, just... <laughs> I am so glad that they oh. capitalized on that. Thanks, team. <laughs> Appreciate you. No, I have no idea what I'm doing. You're quitting and putting ink and on the floor. Oh, <laughs> that was that was a little of the last shots that came out of my weapon. Oh. Pretty even match. Oh, I don't think this. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Oh no, 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 my Ray didn't kill you in time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was oh. so close. <laughs> oh. <sighs> wow. There we go. Woo. So accidentally left the voice chat. That's what uh. happened. All right, that was one of the best examples of feeding to win that I have ever seen. It was on uh, bed uh, so hard wow. in that game. <laughs> oh, wow. The, uh, uh, oh, we lost, uh, wait, oh. we lost, uh, Simon. You lost me? Yeah, it looks like a DC. Yeah. I thought, I thought everyone got lost. Looks like it's just me. I'm done. Yeah, no, when I raid, I was oh. watching him like, there's no one else going for the tower. I'm not getting in the personal tower. <laughs> I was dead. I tried to lob a bomb over there, but I think I missed. We're gonna wait for Syncrity to get back in because Syncrity is the streamer and people don't get to see if he's not in. <laughs> That's true. It's I'll just the one sit out, thing it's about, fine. <laughs> it's the, the one thing about Ray that I don't like is that like I always move back a bit for Ray and it's like I, I want to be there to help contest when it's done because if I'm closer I know I'm gonna die. It's like, ugh, Ray's such debatable for me. Alrighty. <laughs> um, so let's just go down the line, I guess. Uh, everyone can spec except for Syncrity. So here we have a game. And we're just not going to balance it and see what happens. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, It'll there's nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this spread. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, don't worry, guys. If anything happens, I'll carry the team. It'll be great. Totally got fine. Yeah. <laughs> totally got it. I'm taking the lead. You got this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Remember, I'm covering you. You're getting all the kills. Zelda, you're going to get every all right. shot, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a snack break. And I'm going to see if I can play Squid Game. And we'll go from there. I expect to see the uh, the 360 shot <coughs> at least once, Zelda. 360, 360 and then jump off up. the map into the water just for the the distance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're playing charger, is the thing. Oh, well, they are. Okay. Yeah. 
So now, well, how else are they gonna do the 360? It doesn't. I need yeah. to not be the victim of the 360. Oh. Will I might have to the take basket, the hit. And you go for the 360, and, that, and then we'll we'll reconvene. Get on the tent. Yeah. I, I suck it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, uh... I didn't even see that. Oh, no, that's terrible. Ah, I like it. Oh. I wasn't expecting a charger to be there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for Charger, baby. Zelda's going for the 360. I don't know how else to say it. Zelda's going for Frontline Charger, like it was said here. And it's like, those are scary when they're able to get in the right spot. No. <laughs> Please, let me land the shot! No! Well. Ah! Jamie Debbie combo doing some work in the court right now. I'm gonna be honest, that was all Jamie. <laughs> I did the first bit, Jamie did the last. Right, it's it's a one-two punch. Debbie, then Jamie. Ooh. They go oop twice. Squid game. I bonk. <laughs> there you go, you're getting the hang of it. Ah, re remove things from your brain that are not bonk. <laughs> it fits my playstyle perfectly. Oh, I didn't realize the basket was so <laughs> Nothing going on I'm in so there, so it's I'm fine. So bad at clam wars. The, uh, the luckiness of four clams spawning on top of your own snipe when I'm just like, oh, okay, huh. I can end the game now. <laughs> oh, perfect. Tune wishes for you to win. That's okay. You didn't go for a 360. Is Jamie still so S plus in this mode? Yeah, there's like, I think. Technically, I don't it's 100%. Know if that's his only mode he's S plus in, but. I get to watch the S one. And it's Kelpdom! <laughs> Man, I it's object to these things. probably a good thing I'm on spec. <laughs> At least okay, it's not Zobie. Yeah. The teams are probably not great here. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna try something experimental. Oh. What's, what's Jem doing? This is the question. Scared. I'm actually very curious to see what this experimental idea is. Yeah, that, that idea has been thoroughly experimented with Zelda Dude, and uh, it has been found lacking. Mm. We're going to have to take the null hypothesis on that one. Well, this is a team that's happening, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't mean for it to get this experimental. <laughs> really curious. There's I'm no so control so variables. Doing. They're off the rails. <laughs> What is this going to be? There really are no control variables here for this experiment. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, I think I think we still lose. I've seen this before, and it's annoying to actually fight.
Why are you so fast? I <laughs> can't hit you! <laughs> You're too fast! Oh my god. Ah, yes. Very good, very good. Best weapon in the game, Rainmaker. It's the only weapon that can make you just win the objective. Oh my goodness. Oh my no, goodness. they're pushing oh, forward so easily! Oh my gosh! Where's the stop? <laughs> I tried to flake to get behind because I figured there would be a stop. <laughs> oh, that was the second oh. player. They just oh, walked no. in. Oh, wow. Get him here! Get him here! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, you'll need to I get it after the air. Instantly, instantly uh, die. Yeah. No. No. Oh, no. You're so <laughs> no. much splat power with quad splatling, especially on Rainmaker, because oh. they can destroy specials, they can destroy the barrier, they can clear a pathway. Oh my! No. <laughs> <laughs> that Avery, were you is... the player that uh, picked up the Rainmaker at the end there? Uh, me? I... It might have been me, end, I think. Like, the last time before we won. Uh, I think, maybe? I think? I know I picked it up just, like, a little bit before uh, the game ended. Yeah, I think right, it was. So I was the last person. In that position, run it away from them off to the right of your spawn instead of to the left because everybody's coming from the left so you're just going to run into a firing squad but if you go off yeah. to the right you can jump it over the wall on the right side and get it way far away from your goal and that's going to be way mm. safer so go for that yeah instead. yeah i i picked it up and then got splatted <laughs> There were, oh. I don't think Avery was going to get very far because there was a nah. remix and a mini watching <laughs> with Yeah, charge. that's, that so, I, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. I actually really like this, this map mode. I think it forces you to think way differently about the game than like any other map. Definitely, yeah. That's the build I want. There we go. Forgot I readjusted my sensitivity to help from my waving. It can be frustrating though, because if your teammates lose on the other side and you've completely secured your zone, there's less you can do about it. So I found less if you have like bombs or something or can reach it. Mm -hmm. Like there's not nothing you can do about it, but there's a lot less <laughs> than if you could just swim to them. Looking like a team comp. We've got a team comp. Charge, I had no chance. <laughs> oh. 
this is uh, quite rough. Couldn't get to the other zone. I couldn't get a spawn. Jamie needs to be spec. Yeah, I see it. Bab says, tell them to stop. Who is them? What should they stop? Jamie's hiccups, I think. Uh -huh. I only I got two snipes out of that. One of them I wasn't expecting to hit. Uh, air signs I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to get Zelda's though. I thought I aimed too high. <laughs> well, that's convenient. It's actually Jamie's turn to spec anyway. Okay, well then. Oh. Yeah, the bird's eye view is really interesting. It, it's like, it's not the, I think, uh, single best way always in every situation to learn the game, because from the bird's eye view, you get information that you wouldn't get in the normal game. So it's like, oh, there was someone there. I should have known. Well, maybe you shouldn't have. Like, maybe there was absolutely no way for you to have known that. Um, so like, it's really good for team situations where you need to see, okay, what's going on overall as a team? Um, but I think it's always important to go back to the, the player's perspective as well so that you can see what information that player has. Um, I think someone's going to learn individually a lot better from seeing things from their point of view. It does get to a point where the level of awareness is high enough that, like, you can expect someone to know almost everything. That's on you are the map. A not gem. What? <laughs> Stay mad. I'm alive. <laughs> I know what you went though. <laughs>
Oh my god, I cannot. Is that a triple bomb? <laughs> yeah, it was a triple. I didn't even see it. Let's go! I didn't even oh, see no! it. Oh! No! Was... Someone get on tower, please! Someone get on tower! Let's go! Oh. Down, no, stay with me, every Okay, oh, look, I'll take the train. train. <laughs> I'll take the train. Bonk. That close? Oh. That close? I'll take the oh train. Oh my god. And we'll eat you. I don't know build ourselves a comp with a lot of people. needed as <laughs> the game is ending. Who got that triple bomb? I got- I went- It was, uh, Beyond Destroyer. Oh my god. Oh, that was- that was funny. I- I didn't even see it. Great. Just a second, my life I flashed before my eyes. My Zelda says- from glass. Zelda says that they saw what you did, Avery. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just, it, 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 my life. Right before my eyes, just a half second of like, oh no! I uh, I clipped the I clipped the triple bomb because I walked up on the and saw three people explode. Oh, and I didn't realize that we okay. Well, I guess we're doing another now. We're doing one more. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Realize we had time. Uh. I was gonna say, Andre, if you wanted to say that, I'm okay with that. If you wanted to. The time for bonking is upon us. You're good. I then I'm going to do fun thing for final game because why not? uses it for tower. Um, and zone pit. Yeah, that's true. That is the, the one map in the game where Splashdown's I actually will, a viable weapon. I will actually bring it to competitive. Oh! But that's all the pressure. He went beside me and I didn't see it until it was about to explode. <laughs> Yes. No, Avery, no! Yes! Yes! I lost what he was! <laughs> the time for bonking is a bonk lesson. No bonk. 
That was so close. It was. <laughs> oh no. I missed. No, no. No, I couldn't take lead. Somebody else score, please. <laughs> no, <him>. oh. <laughs> no. No. Oh, Simon, no. <laughs> Oh, this is scary. Oh, Wait, how do I? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was trying to maneuver around our power. Oh, dear. oh my God, this is torture! <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting missile back. I'm getting bombed. I'm getting missiled. Like I just because there's also another person beside me, so it's like I. Yeah. No! Stop the power clamp, please! <laughs> oh, oh, stop them fun. again! Yes. Uh, no. It's all you, Andre. Stop Andre too. <laughs> there you go. And there's uh, And just there stop them all, actually. <laughs> if we can. Everyone. If we can. Everybody just stop. Yeah, yeah, stop. Everyone put stop the colors down. <laughs> this is this is very confrontational. I think we should just stop and talk it out. I just came here to play Squid Game, and I'm still I very just intense. got three. Let's go, people! Uh. <laughs> oh, well, Zelda had something to say about that. Uh, the Rave Rave? The light show. There's okay. unfortunately uh, no light show. Yeah. Oh no. No. Trying to slide this power clamp. You're not allowed! <laughs> well, I want to supply your power clamp. No, oh, my, my clamp yeah. bounced off the lip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to keep it open. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Power clamps actually aren't allowed. I'm out of range! Stop! Stop them! I missed, are you kidding me? We don't have anybody alive! No! Hey, buddy, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, there's another power clamp! Defend the clamp! Get the no! Clamp. Save the clamp! This is the saddest timeline, quite possibly. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was getting shot from three sides in the way I come out of that. What a series of flanks we have. Oh my here. lord. What the heck? Yeah, wait. Hold on, I see oh, some squid no bagging. Squid bagging. <laughs> I see squid bagging. Wait, what? That's very rude. Yeah. yeah, folks, it is a rule not to squid bag in these parts. Oh, oh, Whoa! Okay, ah. Avery. That was, I think that was a jump scare. Just... I didn't realize you were the one back there. <laughs> no. I, I, did you go back there with someone else? I swear I saw someone no. else go back there. That's wild. I I, I think I <laughs> that was just that was terrifying. <laughs> no. no. I just want to apologize to you for that. That was. I, I'm here, but I don't have a power flail. Uh, I got two I down! Got... Oh no, I think they get this. Let's go! No. No, no! 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 The miss! <laughs> They're gonna <laughs> die! The miss! Oh no! my god. <laughs> Andre, it's okay. In the my miss. heart, in my heart, Andre, <laughs> we won. In my heart, we won. <laughs> 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 Oh no! I didn't know where the other one was! In my heart we won! Oh, 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 I just, I feel bad for that.
Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, I do think All that's right. going to do it for Squid School today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, much appreciate uh, Nixio, a.k.a. Cicada, for uh, coming in and being our student for today. Uh, appreciate them being willing to donate their footage. And Well, I guess they were in the game on stream. And being here and being a student anyway. <laughs> and... Uh, the uh, next week, I think we do have one person, but uh, if you're ever interested in doing a Squid School VOD review, just uh, come to this Discord server and DM me, Jem, uh, the one who woomies and whatnot. Um, actually, I don't think that's my, my current status, but um, go and uh, check us out there. We are Bravest Esports. We do a whole bunch of other stuff besides just Splatoon content. We are uh, tournament organizers. Um, it, we do a whole bunch of uh, different kinds of events. Um, so you can uh, check us out at our website, bravest.com, which is this. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want that VOD review, just hit me up there. Uh, we have one person lined up for any time in the future. So anybody else who would like to do it, um, definitely hit me up so we can keep this content going. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, thank you all. Peace out, everyone.